Hi YouTube, uh, this video will be about, this is our last baby, baby number four is the last one and about who we chose to get fixed and our reasons on why we are stop, we are not going to have any more kids and all that. I'm trying to word this right, but I'm kind of a little tongue tied. <laughs> um, so me and my husband think that four is a really good number for us because, well, that's quite a few kids for being so young. We are both 21 years old and we will both be still be 21 when we have our fourth child for a while actually. Um, and we actually, my husband had a um, consultation to see if he can get fixed and everything and he has been approved. We chose that my husband would do it because it is a safer route. It's more risky for the woman and everything for her to get fixed and it's um, it's an easier procedure for the man. Um, it's called the no scalpel technique. You don't need stitches, you don't, nothing like that. It takes very quick to heal. Um, if you do heavy lifting, I think it's a week to two weeks till you can do heavy lifting again. Um, so, and my husband does heavy lifting, so I don't know if we'll have it where he takes off in like two weeks or what we're going to do, but we are planning to have him fixed in the beginning of December after we have the baby, like soon after, because the uh, doctor doing the vasectomy thought it would be a better idea if we would wait to make sure that nothing bad happens with his baby and everything's good, so then do it right after. Um, we chose, one of our main reasons we chose to stop having kids is because I'm very fertile and <laughs> birth control makes me sick and condoms burn. A little bit TMI but down there they burn. Whoa. Me. So it's like it just doesn't work well with me. Anything I guess messing with my hormones and stuff like I remember I think it was the first time I went on birth control. It was terrible because it was grad. And I had to miss out so much because I was so nauseous. I think it was worse than pregnancy. And I was pale in the face. I felt, I felt like I was just going to pass out all the time. It was terrible. So, me and my husband feel very blessed with just having four kids. And if I do get baby fever, well, that's something I need to get over. Because I would have baby fever my whole life then. And if anything, I think it would be better... If we would foster kids in the future, just knowing that, you know, some kids can have a good home and keep be kept safe because there are a lot of homes where they get abused and stuff like that. And I know me and my husband would not do that here. So there's sometimes I think maybe we could just foster some kids, but we'll have to see what the future holds. So, um... Yeah, that's kind of, I think I caught everything in there, but that's kind of where we're at. At This is our last baby. My husband's going to be getting fixed. He's right after we have the baby. Um, yeah, because if we wouldn't, I would get pregnant right away again. And that's something we don't want. <laughs> yeah, so... We're going to stick at four. We're going to raise our family. We're young, so then we will have a lot more time when we're older together and to do stuff. And everybody thinks that when you get married young or you have kids young, that's the end of your life. Like, because I got pregnant at 16 and I had my baby at 17. Yes, I know that I shouldn't have done that at such a young age, but it happened and I have to deal with, you know, the consequences consequences and I had to step up and do what I could so I decided to raise my daughter as best as I could and to smarten up and to be the best mom at a young age and I even had this program that I went through that was called families first 
and it helps you to see the develop, um, development of a child's brain and what they go through and how they think and you know just kind of help you parent kind of thing like well they give you ideas so you can take that in and then you know do as you want with it and I just it actually really really helped me because you see the things that your kids do and the stuff that frustrates you and it's normal for their development you still do need to step in and do discipline but there is a difference they also teach you there's a difference between discipline and punishment and all that so we just yeah we my husband actually when we found out we're, well before we I, we even got pregnant he was trying to get a job a part-time job because of course he was in school and then after we found out we were pregnant he well he kept trying really hard to get a job regardless and he got one at a dealership a car dealership out here where we live and um, he did that for I don't know how long it was but then he actually got to do a thing called work experience through school so you're in school and you have a full-time job and you have to just do like reports on it and stuff like that so he got to graduate school while working full-time and so that was awesome um, yeah so yeah it was very nice so we could support our child I still lived at home with my parents and he lived with his mom and common law step I guess common law dad common law stepdad I don't know what you call that but uh yeah he lived with him and I lived with my parents and um he would always you know supply everything for the what the baby would need money and all that we you know didn't have my parents supporting us financially at all except that I lived in their house and they were supporting me financially because I still was underage and then when I hit 18 it was like a month and nine days or so yeah month and nine days after I turned 18 we got married we moved out and my parents and his family have been supporting us amazingly and everything is going really good and I also graduated school with doing I also got to do work experience but I got to do it on being a mother so I got to do a project on you know I guess what you learn through being a mother that I guess the new mother feeling like the transition and stuff and uh, yeah I graduated school too so it was really awesome that we beat most of the statistics and we are still together. We will be married three years in three days. Um, August 28th. It will be our third year anniversary. So, yeah. And most people judge us for it and stuff. And you know what? Yeah, we did. We did do a bad thing. But our children are definitely not bad in that sense. Like, they are blessings from God end of story I don't care what Asia was they are blessings so there's that um yeah and we will have so much time to just do what we want when we're older because they will move out you know sooner than most kids unless they're because we don't want to have the kids where they're like 30 still living with parents we're not gonna do that we're gonna you know make sure that they go and get on their feet so they can be responsible and you know they so they can learn life so that's what we would like to do so um yeah that is I think oh I don't well because I also I just want to add in there are a lot of people that like to do traveling and stuff beforehand and then have kids and you know do what they want and whatever I think it'd be very nice to you know you have a little more knowledge when you're older also because you just you know you learn through experiences through life so I, just, I think it'll be really nice to just have all that time where we can you know just do stuff and you know help out in the community and with anything we can we can you know just you know um and I think that's when 
I'll also get a job after, I think, around the time when the kids are 16 or so. Then I'll go out and get a job, but for now I'm going to be a stay-at-home mom. And try and keep everything in order at home. But, um, yeah, I just don't want to get any random job that I will hate. So I have all the years of being a stay-at-home mom to make sure I get the right one. Which, I guess that doesn't always turn out the way you want it, but I can try. So that is that. That is, I guess, two kind of stories in one right here. Okay, <laughs> hope you enjoyed the video. <laughs> See ya.